Hey guys, so today is going to be kind of a long video. I am doing another album cover set and I'm doing all 10 nails because I will be wearing these. Um, to start off, I am just taking my e-file and a sanding band and I am roughing up the surface of the tips um, to give the gel something to stick to and to start off I'm going to take this purple yellow green and pink gel colors and use those and I'm going to be mixing in glow powders of the same colors so that they glow in the dark and now because I did touch the surface of these tips, I am applying my dehydrator just to remove any oils and extra dust that may be on the surface and will affect how the gel sticks to the tips. And now I'm applying my base coat to all the tips and cure that for 30 seconds. So instead of doing just one album cover like I've done previously for this set, I am actually doing two album covers. They are for the same person. It's uh, Mod Sun and me and my sister are going to see him in concert and um, I wanted to create a nail set for that. Uh, so starting off with the first album, I'm doing Look Up, and um, on the bottom there's like these different shapes, um, like 3D shapes on it. So I'm just drawing those on to the bottom of the nails, and once I get them drawn on, I cure them for 60 seconds before moving on to the next color.
now I'm taking my Model Ones white gel polish and this sky blue glow powder and mixing those together and then I'm going to take my dotting tool and just dot on some small stars for the night sky and then I also draw on um, a larger star onto three of the nails and once I get all that on I do cure for 60 seconds and I know um, these are going to be showing underneath um, this isn't the top like what you're going to see on top so I know I didn't have to go all the way up with the um, dotted on stars but I have pretty short na um, nail beds and I wasn't 100% sure like how far up I actually had to go so I just took the stars all the way up just to be safe. Now I'm taking my black from Model Ones and I'm going to apply that to the entire nail on all of the nails and then I will cure that for 60 seconds. I only did one layer of the black. Now I'm adding my base coat onto the nails just because um, the stars that I had dotted on, because of the glow powder, it made them kind of like raised up and the nail was really bumpy. So the I'm just putting the base coat to fill in the gaps and make it so it's one smooth even layer instead of being super bumpy before I add on what I'm going to add on to the top. And I'm going to take this yellow again and my yellow glow powder and mix those together and apply that to all of the nails. And I cure that for 60 seconds. I do believe I ended up doing two layers of this yellow now i'm taking this orange and my orange glow powder i'm going to be mixing those together i'm also using my blooming gel for this so now i'm going to be taking my blooming gel and applying that to the nail and without curing that, I'm just going to take my dotting tool and dip it into the orange gel polish and put some spots onto the nail and then use the dotting tool to kind of swirl that around and give it like a tie-dye effect to it. So this next Mod Sun album that I'm doing, um... I'm not entirely sure if YouTube would be happy if I said the full name of it, but it's happy as F-U-C-K. Uh, I'm not going to say that word because I don't want my um, to get flagged or anything, so uh, yeah. But as you can see from the picture that I inserted of it, um, the background is kind of like a orange and yellow tie-dye look, so I'm trying my best to recreate that. And once I get it to look how I want it, I go ahead and cure for 60 seconds. And the 
this is how all 10 of the nails are looking so far. Um, I'm really happy with how the tie-dye effect turned out. And here they are glowing in the dark. Um, I think they look really cool glowing in the dark and I like the effect that it gives. And here's what the underneath looks like glowing in the dark. So now I'm just going to take a pencil and draw on the skull onto the nails. Uh, doing this helps a lot when doing hand drawn art. Uh, that way you can map out the design and know how it's going to look and where everything is going to lay without having to add something with the gel and then it not being right and having to wipe it off a million times or even sometimes you'll put something on with your gel polish and then cure it thinking that it would be fine and then it ends up it wasn't fine so then you have to go back and file it off mm. It, this just saves a lot of that um, time and energy of having to do the same thing over and over again. Um, you just have everything there lined up and ready to go. And then all you gotta do basically is color in the lines. It's kind of like, you know, paint by number almost, except for without the numbers. Um... So if you are doing hand-drawn art and you find it kind of difficult to do, try drawing it on with a pencil first and get it how you want it to look with the pencil and then go over it with your gel polish and see if that helps you at all. Also, if you mess up your drawing with the pencil, uh, you can just use the eraser to erase it or if you want to take the entire design off and restart, you can just wipe it off with alcohol and it'll come right off and then you can restart. And as you can see, I have a different nail design in this um, part of the video. Um, this, the last clips of me showing when it was, um, the glow in the dark and like how I did all the rest of the nails to this point was like a week in between because I was so nervous to do this part and do the skull on these nails. Um, I just kept pushing it off because I was way too scared to do it and I was afraid it wasn't going to turn out good and it was going to look bad. So I just kept pushing it off and finally I was like, I need to get these done because like I said, I am going to be wearing these because um, me and my sister are seeing Mod Sun in concert and when I did the skull part, I um, it was only a week until we um, were going to the concert so I had to get it done and I thought that this part would take me forever to do but realistically it honestly didn't take me super long to do this skull part even though um, this is the most detailed um, hand-drawn art that I've ever done on my nails it honestly was super quick and easy um, I think that to drawing it on with pencil first instead of going in and drawing it on with the gel polish and figuring it out that way, um, doing it this way definitely made it a lot easier and quicker for me. So now that I have that all drawn on, I am going to be taking, um, all these colors that I'm showing 
to create the skull. Um, some of them I will just be using the color itself and some of them I will be using to mix up um, different colors that I didn't have that are needed for some of the um, details in the skull. And I decided not to make the skull glow in the dark uh, just because I felt like it'd be too difficult for me to uh, mix up the glow powders with all the different colors that I was doing and um, I also kind of felt like that might be too much um, glow in the dark so I am just leaving the skull plain and now I am just going in and I'm starting with the teeth on the skull because I'm going to be taking um, my gold chrome powder and applying that to the teeth because the teeth are kind of um, gold and after I get uh, the black on I do cure that for 60 seconds before applying the chrome powder. I also did go in after applying the chrome and applied a top coat to the teeth just so if I did end up messing up um, something else and I had to uh, wipe it off, I wouldn't mess that part up and wipe off all the chrome. the rest of the skull I do flash care in between um, the different sections and colors that I use um, that way they don't bleed into each other and mix and turn into some color that I don't want also so um, I don't bump into them and mess up what I had just done. So I'm just going to let this play out and I'm not going to say um, much of anything else unless I feel like I need to. Um, just because at this point I'm just painting the skull and filling in the drawing that I had done. So it's kind of self-explanatory uh, of what I'm doing. I am out of frame on some parts, so I do apologize for that. But I'm just going to let this play out and I will be back in a bit.
I had forgotten to get out this color earlier, so I'm just showing this orange that I am using for like a little accents on um, his name. dark blue I thought this was going to be the super difficult part but it actually ended up being pretty easy um, to do this compared to what I am going to do after the outline
this was the difficult part for me going in with that light blue and filling in the rest of the skull and going around all those details and everything that I had just done um, it might have been easier to just do the blue part of the skull first paint the entire skull blue and then go in with the um the rest of the skull and like the details and everything but if i did that i wouldn't have been able to draw the entire thing out first and make sure that like everything was um spaced correctly and that i made the skull itself big enough so i just had to deal with it and make the best of it and try my best to not mess it all up and i did end up going in and adding um more teeth onto the sides uh, on the middle nails because uh when i drew it out like next to the other nails it lines up fine and it looks fine but on its own it looks kind of weird just um, with those teeth there in the middle and it doesn't continue on to the sides so um, I added more teeth so that it looks fine on its own
I also forgot to get my red out for the outline of the skull and that's just what I'm doing here now is adding that um, red outline to the entire skull. After I got this red outline done, I put the entire nail set into my lamp for 120 seconds just to make sure that all the gel was 100% completely cured and none of it was like wet underneath or anything because there is a lot of colors here and there is some a little bit of layering of the colors so I just wanted to make sure it was completely cured and now I'm just adding my top coat um, I was struggling to decide if I wanted to do shiny top coat or matte top coat because I feel like this design would look great either way but um, shiny is my personal preference of top coat I prefer shiny nails over matte nails so I decided to go ahead and top these with my shiny top coat and after I get the top coat all on I cure them for 60 seconds <laughs> These are the finished nails and I absolutely love how they came out I am so happy with them and I'm super proud of myself for being able to do this because this is the most um, detailed hand-drawn artwork that I have ever done on some nails so I'm super proud of myself for being able to to do this and I feel so silly now because I have been planning to do these nails since December when me and my sister got the tickets and I just kept pushing it off and pushing it off and pushing it off because I was so afraid to do um, this skull and I was afraid that it would just end up horrible and I was going to waste all this time and product doing this just for it to be a complete disaster but it ended up turning out so good and I'm so happy with it. I have them sitting on my nail desk right now. Um, I don't have them on currently as I'm doing my voiceover right now is because I'm waiting until the day of to put them on since they are press-ons and I don't want them to pop off um, too soon so but um every time I pass by or I go sit at my nail desk I just can't help but sit there and stare at them because I am so proud of them and the glow in the dark on the top there with the skull looks kind of freaky just because the background is kind of popping through a little bit. So it's been a few days since um, that last clip and um, it's the day you're seeing this video is actually the day after the concert. Um, 
but these are what the nails look like on and I'm so happy with them. I'm so proud of how they turned out and I just keep staring at them and I will say it feels a little weird because I've had short nails for the past few weeks and so it kind of feels weird to have long nails again but I'm so happy to have long nails again because I've been missing having my long nails and I'm glad the this set is um, the first set back to me having long nails. Um, I did glue on my pointer finger here on my right hand super crooked and I didn't realize it until um, after the glue was dried and there was nothing I could do about that so it's it's extremely crooked and it's kind of bothering me but I'm like whatever. The design makes up for the crookedness of the nail. If you made it to the end I just want to say thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video.